Welcome to Nilla Walfers, your source for vanilla World of Warcraft tutorials and guides. Today we're going to talk about how to install, uh, how to get and install uh, the World of Warcraft client that you're going to need to connect and play on vanilla World of Warcraft servers, um, and how to configure um, the realm list file, um, choosing a server on Elysium, and then getting into that server. So uh, first off is getting the client. Now um, what you're looking for is World of Warcraft version 1.12.1, .1, that specific version. Um, if you search the interwebs for this, you're going to find a lot of stuff. Uh, all I can say is please abide by the laws, rules, and regulations that apply to you in your particular situation. I will not detail how I ended up with this um, because the method I used is not is probably not going to apply in every way to your particular situation. Um, and I live in the United States of America where I have a constitutional right to keep my mouth shut. So I will be exercising that right. Now, um, once you do have this, there's probably going to be these two directories, WDB and WTF. Um, it's a very, very good idea to delete both of them because they're going to have configuration options and cache data files for, um, let's just say for a different installation of World of Warcraft, um, and that can at the very least it's going to occupy space that it doesn't need to um, but it can in certain circumstances cause you a lot of trouble uh, so just go ahead and delete those two I'm not going to because of I have pre-configured this copy of World of Warcraft um, to have sane volume levels for recording purposes Now, once you have this, uh, step two is to configure your realm list .wtf. WTF is their configuration file extension. Don't ask me why. Um, this video series and this channel is going to be focusing on the Elysium project servers, at least to start with. So let's go to the Elysium project servers. And just as a side note, I'm using an incognito window just so you don't see my Google account name and all that junk. So let's go to Elysium Wow. And if you click on their Play Now button, it's going to show you. Um, Right here it says at the contents of realmless.wtf and um, this is what we're going to put in the file. So just overwrite everything that's in the file, paste this in, save it, close it, you're good to go. Um, obviously you need to make an account. Uh, that's going to set up your username and password. You need to verify your email address so that you can um, you know, recover your password. Uh, please, please do not use Hotmail, Outlook. Um, I've also heard people having some trouble with Yahoo as well, where um, basically when they send the verification email or the password reset email, it takes like four hours for the email to get through because no matter what you do, these services are, Hotmail Outlook and Yahoo are sending the email through a spam filter and it's taking hours to process and by that time 
the verification or reset code you get has already expired so please use Gmail or something like that so now all you got now that we've updated realm list.wtf all you gotta do is open wow and uh, the movie's gonna play you can skip through that um, scroll through these thingies now this breaking news area over here um, this is actually from the your servers team so when this says realm restarts on Wednesday the 15th um, I'm sorry never mind I thought this was from the team this is actually this looks like it's actually still coming from Blizzard so don't look don't look at this this is from Blizzard not Elysium um, I'm gonna uh, edit out my account name for some fairly obvious reason okay now <coughs> uh, we need to choose our realm so if we go back to the Elysium page shut up. Um, if you go to the realm status it shows us some pretty interesting things um, so Anathame, uh, Elysium, and Zethkur, all are PvP servers. All three of these are PvP servers. And when I say PvP servers, <laughs> I don't mean like retail PvP servers. In retail, even back in the day on vanilla, ganking was fairly rare, except maybe in like Stranglethorn Vale and places like that. Um, and especially today in retail on a PvP server, um, ganking is very rare. On high population vanilla PvP servers, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to try to paint it in a bad light. I'm just going to say that the reason you would play a private PvP server is if you want to actively engage in open world PvP all the time. Um, because you can't <laughs> you can't realistically get away from open world PvP on these servers. Like um, just just for some context, like it, it is 3:30 in the afternoon central time uh, on a Tuesday, there are nearly 8,000 people playing on the server on one server y'all um you cannot escape pvp on these servers which you know for a lot of people that's a good thing a lot of people like that um this is your home right uh Ze elysium has a lot of uh i've been told has more hardcore folks on it zethkur maybe some of the less hardcore people um, certainly it has a lower population, but, uh, if you, if you don't want that, if you're not looking for a non-consensual PVP experience all the time, um, then Darrow Shire is your PVE option. So with all that said, um, the way you you actually choose your realm um, you're gonna want to just say English normal suggest realm it might give you a realm it's, it's sending me to Darrowshire because that's where I have a character um, but just hit view realm list and it'll show you all the realms and so you can see everything says high pop but um, these three are the PvP servers, and then Darrowshire is the, the normal server. So you just say OK. And there you go. Realm selected. Um, the last thing that I wanted to cover today was about the community in Elysium. 
So there are the Elysium forums, which appear to be down right at this very second. Uh, they've just been spinning for, for a long, long time. But that's a pretty good place to connect with guilds and, and things like that. Um, the Discord chat, though, is where it's at. So click the Discord chat link that you know sends you to the auto-invite page. Uh, and, and Discord's really where it's at for this community. Also, the, um, you know, a lot of the guilds have their own discords. Um, that's really how you get plugged into the community. Also, the, uh, the Elysium staff are very good about posting news and server status and things like that on the Discord channel in, in a news, a dedicated news channel. Um, so it's easy to see, to differentiate the, uh, the staff updates from the, uh, frankly, fairly active general chat on there. So, uh, that is it. Thank you very much. Um, next time, I guess we'll do a, uh, an add-on guide getting started with some basic add-ons.